parchment official yarn what are mappings all right we find ourselves back in Georgia once more and in this morning tip we're going to be talking about mappings so we have talked about mappings a little bit before, right? We are currently using the official mappings. Actually, maybe at this point, we're already using parchment. I'm not sure that's going to happen in my future, which is your past. <sighs> Absolutely craziness. But for the time being, there are official mappings, there are parchment mappings, and then for fabric, there are also yarn mappings. Now, in theory, you can also use the yarn mappings in Forge, and you can also use parchment or official mappings in Fabric. These are basically interchangeable. They are pretty much just a set of instructions that are going to translate obfuscated code from Minecraft to readable code. So basically, in the most general of terms, so for example, let's actually go into the item class. So we're just going to middle mouse button click on the item class and let's take a look at the use method. So here we are, here's the use method and you can see it takes in a level, a player and an interaction hand. Now, what if I wanted to actually translate the use method and want to know how, what is this called in fabric? Well, for that, there exists a great resource and that is linky.sheendaniel.me slash mappings, which can translate a certain namespace to another namespace. So in this case, what we want is we want the official mappings, which is Mojang, and we want to translate to yarn. We want to translate the use method. So we're just going to search for use and it's going to immediately search for stuff. And you can see we have block behavior over here. That's not what we want. We want the item use method. So you can see item use turns into item use. So that is actually a bad example because the method is named exactly the same. Now to read this, it's going to take a little bit of time. So this might look insanely confusing and all that. Basically, what you're always looking for is this one right here. So you can, for example, see that the use method on the, the use method for the block is actually called on use in this case. And we have another method that is the use on. This is the method for the item. If you right click a block, maybe that's going to be different. So let's actually search for that as well. Use on. And you can see this is exactly right. So we have item. This is the class. This is the name of the method. Use on turns into use on block inside of yarn. This is how you can translate from, in this case, official mappings to yarn mappings. So usually from forge to fabric. And this is also, in theory, how you actually translate a Forge mod to a Fabric mod or vice versa, right? If you want to go the other way around, you just select Yarn here, translate to Mojang. And then, for example, we're going to say Use on Block. And you can see Item Use on Block turns into Use on for the official mappings. That is pretty much everything that the, you need to know for the mappings. Now, it can get quite complicated to actually look through this. Sometimes it is quite complicated. But overall, if you select the correct namespace, you select the correct Translate to, you select the correct search type so you're searching for specific things because what you might have seen is that for example this is the abstract block over here right if we actually search, if we're searching for abstract block and we turn on the classes you can see abstract block inside of fabric or yarn is actually called block behavior inside of mojang official but the class is actually exactly the same it is in a different package but the class itself is actually the same class so that's very interesting to see and that is basically how you translate from one mapping to another mapping and this actually already concludes this modding tip right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new and i'll see you all in the next video so yeah